Good morning. In this video, I'm going to show you a real trade that I did on December 14, 2017. I'm using a neat little tool in Thinkorswim called On Demand. And this allows me to show you exactly what I was looking at back in December 2014. Today's actual date is January the 17th, 2018. So back in uh, December, I decided to sell two put options on the SPY ETF. And with the SPY trading at around 266, I decided to sell two puts that were about $6 out of the money and giving myself between 30 and 45 days left until expiration. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click on the bid and aim for $1.35 or so. I'm going to sell two puts January 26 expiration 260 strike price and I'm going to try to aim for 135 and click on confirm and send. Notice that if you're using margin this trade will take up approximately $14,693 which is pretty good. That means I still have a lot of money to play with. Click on send and I'm going to wait and see what happens. Looks like my trade filled at $1.35 which was my goal and since I have two contracts my maximum profit is 1.35 times 2 times 100 that equals $270. So I will make $270 maximum if I hold this trade all the way until expiration which is January 26, 2018. And I will only make that profit if the SPY stays above my strike price of 260 on the expiration date of January 26. When I'm trading options, I almost never hold my trades all the way until expiration because of the risk of assignment. My goal is always to close it when I have a pretty good profit. And by a good profit, I mean usually if I can get 50% of the maximum. So if my maximum is 270, half of that would be around $135 or so. So that is my goal. About two weeks later, on January the 2nd, 2018, we can see that the spiders are up about $1.05. And so we would expect the put premiums to be a lot lower. I placed a trade initially on December 14th when the spiders were right around in this area there. And now on January the 2nd, the spider is higher. So with about two weeks of time decay and the spiders rising, my put premiums are now lower than they were when I placed the trade. So notice that my profit is about $143. I mentioned earlier that my goal is to close a trade when I've achieved 50% of max profit. So it looks like I've achieved this in about two weeks and I'm going to buy this back at 63 cents. That's my goal. Buy it back at 63 cents. Or 64 cents. Okay, so I click on the trade 
right click on the mouse, select create closing order, and I'm going to buy back my put options at the mid price of 64 cents. Buy to close. Once I close this trade, I am done and the profits are mine to keep. Confirm and send. So it's filled at 64 cents. Let's go back to monitor and take a look. So notice that once I buy back my put option, my position is now showing zero. I've closed out the trade and my profits are the difference between my original credit and the cost to buy back the put. 135 minus 64 times 200. Let's do the math and see how much that is. 1.35 minus 0.64 is 71 cents. I had two contracts, so times two times 100. My total profit is $142 minus commissions. So this was a successful trade. Thank you for watching. Happy trading.